Well, folks, today's mission is pretty simple. See how much money I can get from trading in 300 plus video games that have no resale value to me to my local video game stores. So one question that I've gotten a few times on my channel is, Caleb, when you buy large collections or bulk lots of video games, what do you do with all the titles that aren't worth selling individually? And there are a few things that you can do. You can lot them up and sell them on eBay, or you can post them on a local marketplace like Facebook and try to move them that way. But my favorite thing to do is to wait until I have a whole bunch of them and then take them to my local video game store for trade-in credit to buy games that they have underpriced that I can make even more money on. And I've bought two or three larger lots recently, so I'm about ready to take all of this stuff to my local store or honestly more likely a few stores because I doubt one single one will take all of this and see exactly how much I can get in trading credit. This stuff is not going to GameStop. They don't even accept almost any of this stuff anymore because it's too old. So I'm gonna start out at a local independent video game store that I really like called Matt's. They tend to give pretty good prices on stuff. And then I'm gonna take the remaining sloppy seconds to Game Exchange and see what exactly I can drum up. And what I'd love to know from you guys today is how much you think I'm gonna be able to make from these 300 or so worthless video games that I'm trading in. Pause the video now, give your honest guess in the comments below. No cheating, no fast forwarding. I'm interested to see who gets closest to the actual answer. So yeah, let's get all this stuff packed up and head over to Matt's. Oh, well, that was easy. Oh, I forgot to mention there's also a Wii Fit board. Let's go. Ooh. We don't take two trips here at Phoenix Resale. Except when we come back for the camera, I guess. You guys have heard of weightlifting gains, but have you heard of video game gains? That's right. Subscribe to Phoenix Resale if you want to see my results video where I flex in the mirror for half an hour straight. Alrighty, so we are posted up outside of Matt's games, about to go blow their mind with all of this stuff here. Thought I would give my uh, hopes, my estimations for this lot before I go in there. I would honestly be pretty happy with 200 bucks if I walk away with that. Maybe a little bit more in trade credit uh, for all this stuff back here. I know that's less than a dollar a game, but these games, they're just not worth anything. So if I got in that neighborhood, I would be pretty stoked, but let's go find out. Hey there. Got a pretty good bit of trade in for you today. <laughs> Where would be the uh, best spot for it? Uh, I guess right here's fine. Are you wanting cash or store credit? Uh, credit. Cool. We'll all start stacking in here for you. Is this the uh, biggest trade-in you've had? Do you think? No, it's pretty, it's pretty darn good. Close. I'll take that. down here is the stuff you're passing on. $400, 405 dollars 405 How many gigs is the 360? I can plug it up real quick. Does it have the hard drive in there? There's no compartment on the top with the hard drive in it? No, they, uh, they stopped doing that after the first one. Oh. Here, let me grab my phone off. I think I'm on a Microsoft ring controller too. There it is. Oh, no. 320. Learn something here, 
Alrighty folks, well stop number one, Matt's Games was definitely a success. You heard the man $405 in trade credit, which I'm super happy about. This is all the rejects which are gonna go straight to game exchange. I ended up spending $200 of the 400 in trade credit, so let me show you guys some of the stuff I picked up. All right, so here are some of the items I picked up. These weren't great prices, but they're good items either to bundle or to flip pretty quickly for a small profit. First one is Pokemon Pearl version. I paid 30 for that. Should be able to get 40, maybe 45 after fees on Amazon for it because it's still kind of spiked. Also bought uh, Zelda Twilight Princess HD. Uh, this is complete, so that's probably like a 55-ish dollar game. I just bought an NES top loader console that didn't have the dog bone controller, so to find one today was really nice. Paid 30 for it. That's probably not the most competitive rate, but since I had the trade, I figured why not. Also got a really nice condition name brand GameCube controller for 23, which is an okay price, but I may need it to bundle here shortly. And then what I'm most excited about, if you guys have been following along with the channel for a while, you know that I got the Splatoon 2 edition Switch as a result of my my Nintendo Switch challenge, but the Joy-Cons were super messed up. They're kind of hard to find because they're actually the reverse order pink and green, but I found them both today at Matt's Game, so I'm gonna swap these guys out, end up selling the other ones. These were 30 bucks a piece, so not a bad price, uh, and I will have an actual complete Splatoon edition console. But now let's head to Game Exchange and see what they'll give me, if anything, for Matt's leftovers. Hey there, oh. I'm back. Oh, told you I'd come back. Heck yes. Trading time. <laughs> Sorry for the bad timing. Oh, you're good, dude. I got my energies out of the way. We're all good. All right. Well, thanks a bunch. Gives me something to do. All right, so drop off number two just happened, and while we wait for that to get processed, luckily this location is right next to a Gray Clips. And I think it's about time for a trim. Woo! That feels better. So you guys will have to ignore the hair that I'm sure will be all over my face for the rest of this video. But as they're finishing up my trade back there, I did want to say just a couple of days ago, I was already in here. I scanned literally every game in this section. You guys probably already saw that video. So I'm actually going to be focusing my efforts on the DVD and Blu-ray section to see if I can find anything worthwhile while they're finishing up over there. Check this out. These are a bunch of Steelbook Edition Star Wars movies. I think they may be priced the same as the regular Blu-rays. So I found these two right here for $12.99 a piece. And check this out, they're each going for over 30 after fees on Amazon. And not only that, but their DVDs and Blu-rays are buy two, get one free. So these are gonna be a really solid deal. I'm gonna see if I can find any more. Okay. On these. They're either on our no buys or game isn't there or they're damaged. Okay. And then he's talking about you. 139.55 in store credit or 101.77 cash? 139, you said? Yeah. I think I will do that. All right, awesome. Thank you. Well, that ended up being really excellent. They paid me 140 bucks and took almost everything, almost all of the junk, and I found some good stuff to resell. So let me show you guys what I got. So where I really ended up cashing out at this location was in the Blu-ray set section. These were pretty much all double ups or maybe a little bit more, maybe a little less, but we have the Terminator Anthology for 25. Uh, the Nifty 50s, which I mentioned, which should be like 10 to 15, I paid six for that. Dallas, which was $10, I think I'll end up getting like 20 or 25 or something. That's a little bit of a slower seller. This will also sell slower, but uh, was going for around 30 after fees, Transformers Cybertron. I'll also be posting all of these specific sets in the Discord under the DVD Bolo thread for those of you who are in our group. These were buy two, get one free which is really nice. Uh, Star Wars, Revenge of the Sith, and Attack of the Clones, all the Steelbook edition. Like I said, these are going for like 35 to 40 each, and they ended up being like eight or nine bucks a piece, so that was really solid. Also had the Daniel Craig collection on 4K, 
And finally, the Dark Knight Trilogy on 4K. So some of those higher end items, I was actually surprised. Like I paid 30 bucks for this, but it's going for like 60 plus after fees on Amazon. So that's really excellent. And then the only thing video game related that I bought was I paid 80 a piece for these SNES classics. Uh, these are doing really well on Amazon right now. The rank is super low, like 1,000 something. Uh, they both have both controllers and their hookups, so I'll sell them in very good condition. And I should be able to get after fees between like 120 and 160. So the return could be as low as 50%, but on something super uh, clean and easy and fast selling like this, I don't mind that at all. So that brings our total value in trade credit of the stuff that we traded in today to about $545, which is way higher than I honestly expected to get. So I'm really happy with that. Happy with the stuff that I'm bringing home and we'll be able to ship into Amazon this week. So honestly, just a really good solid day overall. My burning question for you guys of the day is this. What do you do with your dead inventory, whether it is video games or DVDs or books or clothes or whatever you may be sourcing? Do you yard sale it? Do you donate it? Do you take it to a second hand store like a video game store or a Play-Doh's closet? I would love to know what you are doing with your duds to maybe get some ideas for myself. Thank you guys as always for watching and I will catch you guys on the flip.